Measurement and verification is a term that was developed uh, in its modern form, you know, roughly actually applied uh, the way we apply it now in the late 80s, so relatively recently. And it stemmed from the idea that in order to verify that investments in energy management or energy efficiency are working, at some point in a, in a process, you need to take measurements in the field. And the question arose in the late 1980s and early 19, 1990s, you know, what, what are the standard methods people use to take measurements of existing systems and then compare them in the future to what actually happens? So m and was born as we currently know it uh, in the early 90s when Department of Energy, mainly through the FEMP program and the, the Department, of, and Department of Energy uh, generally, uh, spent the time and money to bring everyone together and say, what are the core common methods for assessing what's happening before and after on a project and comparing it to what does happen? Um, AEE is, of course, a world leader in certifications generally, and m and you know, layered on top of time-wise the CEM, and I think CEA might have even come later. But all three of these disciplines are interrelated, and that's what's really great about the AEE program and having CMBP, is that if you are a CEM or a CEA, a lot of what you learned makes sense here. We add, you just add some of the nuances that, that, um, that make it what, what m and really is. The current CMBP is, is a great program based on uh, 20 years of experience, what we do every so often is update to accept, address the fact that the world has changed. And the new program we're developing is really going to give people an opportunity to do a couple of things. One is there's going to be a lot more examples. We've always gotten requests for more examples and, and case studies. So we're building in a lot more practical exercises to really test your skills, to see if you understand the concepts. Uh, second is we're going to really emphasize the simplicity of the core concept and the importance of understanding where you're applying it. So again, back to our communication talk, once you've got the core concept under your belt, it's really going out and explaining to everyone else you're working with how it applies. And that's, that's we're gonna emphasize communication and operating m and in whatever context you're in. I've always said since day one, m and is where reasonable people agree. There's a ton of judgment in m and and that judgment has to be established. When you make judgments, they have to be established and clearly documented and all parties have to agree to them. There's not one single way to do a project with M&B. So everyone learning agree, learning the language and agreeing on the M&B process for their project is probably the most important thing you learn. And of course, as things change, as the conditions out there in utility programs and, and with new flex markets and all kinds of new things happening in the, in the energy world, the certification gives you the opportunity to stay up to date with what's happening in this vital role of the accounting for, for energy efficiency, energy management. So AEE brings a couple of things to the table of 40 something years of doing certifications. So if you, you have the process down, the, uh, the interrelation of the various certifications I think is really important. So you come in, if you, have a, if you do have a CEM and you want to add a CMBP, there's a lot of these skills that overlap. Same thing with the CEA, Certified Energy Auditor. So, or if you have a CMBP and you want to go the other direction, in terms of having a local community uh, uh, that already knows a lot about energy and energy management in your area. So it's, it's just an important way of a nexus, so to speak, or a communication network for people doing energy around the world. And there's also that convertibility, so to speak. If you've learned it in India, you can apply it in Africa. You can apply it in Australia. And all those skills are interchangeable around the world. There's a real value to that. We were really fortunate to find people who are committed to m and first and foremost in their area, and that really saw an opportunity when they were invited to this team to contribute, to enhance, again, global understanding and then training for the next generation of people on how to um, take what we've got so now and take it into the future. I mean, I highly expect that most of our students are going to be developing more m methods in the next five years or helping, you know, feedback again. So it's really a, just a wonderful experience of having trained some of these people and mentored them, seeing they can contribute and being part of a chain where we hand off, enhance the knowledge and hand it off to the next generation. The CMVP is a global program and you might run into any number of different standards out there. And you're going to be, come out of this class and be able to understand and articulate how they're different and how they're similar and work with other people to make your projects work. That's our goal.